Hi, and welcome to this episode of Learn Everyday English, where we use words, phrases, real life situations, and take you to real life locations so you can learn and improve your English, as well as your listening comprehension practice and skills. And you can learn a little bit uh, something new about uh, culture here in the United States. I'm here at North Shore Park. We're going to be taking a tour of the park, walking around so I can show you what the park looks like, what it has to offer, what people can do here. This is a very beautiful setting, we say, nice scenery. There is a very large man-made lake here called Lake Woodlands. There are a lot of uh, wildlife, which are like animals, but uh, mainly birds, pigeons. Um, ducks, herons. So um, if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button. Also subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends about it and hit the bell for notifications so you can uh, know when we're going to be uploading another video, which we try to do uh, about every, every week or once a week. So without further ado, let's get going and see what uh, we can find here at North Shore Park. Over here, there's a big bird that's called a uh, great blue heron, great blue heron. And you see these birds a lot here because they uh, like to be by the water. And what he's doing, he's standing in the water, just kind of, uh, trying to catch some fish so he'll just stand still or pretty motionless if he sees a fish that's in the water he'll stick his head down in the water very quickly to try to uh, grab a fish grab a fish and here below me are some other birds these are called pigeons or rock pigeons and they are very plentiful here they are very plentiful that means uh, they are uh, a lot of pigeons, a high number of pigeons that are at this park. You can see in the distance there is a uh, bridge that spans the lake. That spans the lake. That means it goes across the lake from side to side. And here in the distance we see some other people that are on the lake and they are in kayaks again using oars to row the kayaks or to propel the kayaks down the uh, lake and there are very large houses I don't know if you can see in the distance there are very large houses that are on the lake or front the lake and they very large houses are called mansions mansions and here we have some people, looks like they are, um, they have brought their kayaks on top of their car. The kayaks are on a rack, a rack that is mounted on top of the car to hold the kayak. So there's a white kayak and the gentleman just put down this red kayak. So I think they're fixing to go into the lake. Also here at the, uh, this park, there is a boathouse. And this is a boathouse where, um, for people that do Olympic type rowing, rowing, which uses a special type of boat, you'll see like in Olympic competitions. It's called a shell, the boat is called a shell. And they also use uh, oars in a different manner to row the boats. But here, uh, as I keep walking, there's a trailer that is parked. There's a trailer that is parked here by the boathouse. And the trailer on it has um, 
these Olympic type rowing boats. As we'll get closer, we can see what that looks like. So as we get closer, you can see the trailer is very long and the boats, each boat is very long. On the side of the trailer, it says competitive rowing, competitive rowing. So rowing is a sport where they use these special types of boats, which are called shells, to compete. So this is uh, North Shore Park. As you can see, here's a, we call it a big grassy area or maybe a field, a field. And this, this is where people can just, kids can run around and play. I've seen people, like I said, bring uh, soccer balls. They can kick the soccer balls around and uh, play some soccer. And just, uh, or people are here, um, you see people jogging. There are concrete sidewalks here. So people can jog, which is like do some slow running. And it's just a great place to come and uh, relax, enjoy the uh, outside, enjoy the environment. Here there are uh, benches, benches all, all around the park where people can come and just sit and relax. Maybe you want to come bring your lunch. We say bring a sack lunch maybe. If your lunch is in a bag, you can come over here, sit down and relax and eat your lunch. Here we have some ducks that are just, we say, chilling out or just relaxing. The ducks are very used to people, so I think they're uh, waiting for people to feed them, feed them or give them some food. But these are specific types of ducks. Uh, these are called mallard ducks, mallard ducks. And then over to my left in the water these are called uh, Egyptian geese Egyptian geese here we see a duck he is uh, taking a bath in the water and over here we can see there's a whole lot of ducks and it's a good place where families come they can bring some bread. Pigeon just flew toward the camera. And this area in front of me, this is called a uh, playground, a playground. So this is an area specifically designed for kids or designed for children to come and parents can bring their kids and come to the playground and they can play on this playground equipment, this playground equipment. They have what are called slides, slides. So these, um, this blue thing that's coming down and the green thing that's on the other side, children can just come down or slide down the slide in the middle, there's a light brown uh, board. That's a board for climbing or rock climbing. And here we have ducks again. And as you can see, they are behind the benches because they are, tr they are hiding in the shade, in the shade. The shade is the place where there is no sun or no direct sun. So they are trying to cool off from the sun. But here's just some, another view of the uh, playground. Well, you can hear these ducks quacking. They're behind this bench. You hear that sound that they are making. There's a sign here that says, Caution, playground equipment may be hot to touch 
when in di direct sunlight. So that means when the sun is hitting the, the uh, playground equipment, we say hitting the equipment, then the equipment heats up and becomes hot. So it's telling the parents, please check for hot surfaces or areas prior to playing. See, these kids here are on a type of, uh, maybe it's called a merry-go-round, because it goes round and around and around and around. It's a type of maybe special swing. This is called a uh, grill or barbecue grill. So people can bring some what we call charcoal, put it at the bottom of the grill, and then light the charcoal to heat it and put their food on top of the grill, the top part. This is called the grill and they can put the food on top and grill the food and barbecue the food. Well, so you can see the playground, If you might not be able to see it very well, but on the ground is made up of uh, chopped up pieces of wood chopped up pieces of wood we call that mulch mulch they put that mulch down because it is soft it is soft so if the kids were to fall they would not hurt themselves these things here are called swings or this is a swing set a swing set but each uh, individual thing is called a swing. And these, I remember I played with these when I was a kid. But these are very popular too for kids in a playground, a playground. And here, I guess if you want to, there's a place where you can recycle, recycle. So if you have some plastic bottles on the top of this container it says bottles and cans only so and there's a symbol at the top with uh, three arrows that's a recycling symbol so you can recycle your bottles and cans here that is a nice thing to do there are some nice houses here on the lake nice houses here on the lake that's the term we use on the lake we don't say in the lake but we say on the lake that means the lake uh, comes up to the back of the house so the house is on the lake we have a gentleman here who is uh, fishing using a fishing pole or we say a rod and reel a rod and reel or fishing pole catching anything? Uh, it's one little brim. Oh, a brim? Oh, really? Do they have any catfish in this lake? Oh, yeah. Catfish, bass. And bass? Crawfish. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you use uh, artificial lures or just like shrimp? I or? Use, uh, worms. Oh, worms. Okay. Live worms. Live worms. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, good luck. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So, he was the fisherman. I was talking to him. He said there are different types of fish in the lake, brim, catfish, bass, and he uses live worms as bait, we call it. Bait is a thing you use to try to catch the fish with. Sometimes people use artificial bait or artificial lures, but here at the, at the park there are also what we call uh, pavilions, pavilions, and a pavilion is a covered area covered area that you can use or sometimes rent for parties and they normally have a uh, place for people to sit with some uh, tables and benches like we see here this is another pavilion on the left this is pavilion B so there are two pavilions here here is something you don't see in a lot of parks but they have we call a volleyball court or sand volleyball court. So there are two sand volleyball courts 
two sand volleyball courts so you can get some exercise playing volleyball here so we continue to walk on this sidewalk or I can say walk on this path this path so here's an exercise station I guess we call it or an area that has some equipment so here the sign says you can do step ups step ups that means you can step up onto a raised platform and step down so you can step up and down get some exercise and then you can also do some sit-ups sit-ups to work on your stomach here is a, another exercise area or station where you can do some other exercises you can do what's push-ups you can do pull-ups and you can also do reverse pull-ups and there are uh, pictures or diagrams with explanations that tells you uh, how to do each exercise and this is uh, the bathrooms for the park the bathrooms and right here if you're thirsty this is a water fountain a water fountain this is where you can stop and uh, get a drink of water to say quench your thirst quench your thirst at the water fountain there are two sides you go to the right is the area for the women and on the left is the area for the men so let's see what's in here so here in the bathroom there are two uh, we say face bowls where you can wash your hands there are mirrors above the face bowls and these Items here on the wall are called urinals, urinals. So that's where you can use the bathroom. And in English we say you can do number one, which means to urinate is to do number one. And then they also have two stalls. These are called stalls. And each stall has a, uh, we call a toilet in each stall and the stall is where you do number two we call it in English which is to uh, defecate or to poop so we can say do number one and use the urinal is to pee we take a pee use the uh, toilet is to poop or to say do number two so you can see this stall here is bigger than the other one because this is a handicap uh, type of stall so somebody that's in a wheelchair can use that that stall here on the wall is a diaper changing station so this thing can pull down and if a uh, the parent needs to uh, change their baby's diaper they can do it here and then this object on the wall is a hand dryer a hand dryer so if i think if i place my hand underneath the sensor the hot air will start to blow so as you can see the air came on automatically when I put my hand underneath the sensor, the sensor. So that's a quick tour of uh, North Shore Park. This is a very nice area, very nice park. Glad you could join us on uh, today's episode of Learn Everyday English. Hopefully you learned something new, some new words, some new vocabulary, able to practice your listening comprehension. So if you like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe. Also hit the bell to receive notifications of new videos. We try to put a video out every week with new and interesting uh, things and places. 
and uh, thanks for watching and we hope to uh, see you next time. Thanks and bye-bye.